Some bad news from Hollywood. A writer's strike is now underway. A deadline for a deal came and went. Writers say they are underpaid, underappreciated. What it means is production on a lot of TV shows, both conventional TV and streaming shows, are now going to be halted for how long, we don't know. Let's bring in film critic Richard Krause, who's been keeping a close eye on this. Richard, good to see you. The last strike was, you know, 15 years ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. It went on for more than three months. Your read on what we're going to see this time. Oh, I think that if we're out of this uh, in 100 days, like the last one was, uh, we'll be very lucky. This strike uh, is shaping up uh, to be uh, long and arduous simply because of the issues that are at hand. Uh, 15 years ago, there weren't any streaming services to deal with. This is what seems to be the crux of the issues now with uh, the WGA, the Writers Guild of America, uh, representing their writers. Uh, The screening uh, systems that have come in, the streaming systems, uh, have disrupted the way that business is done. So in the old days, you might have an idea for a sitcom. For instance, you'd write a script, uh, you would hand it around. If someone picked it up, great. It would be a pilot if that pilot got picked up then you would put a writer's room together and you'd write 23 or four or five episodes if it was a successful show uh, per year and hopefully do that year after year and everyone gets rich uh, now the streamers are saying okay well that's a, a pretty good idea that you have let's put a writer's room together write an entire season and then we'll make a decision as to whether or not we want to continue with this what it means is that people are being paid less to do more work uh, Uh, The residuals for the streamers uh, are uh, virtually non-existent uh, as compared to network television. Uh, And like all strikes, this WGA strike is just boiled down to one thing, and that's money moving forward. And I don't think you're going to see them budge uh, until some real uh, advances are made. Otherwise, we'll be having another strike in five years as the streamers get more and more and more powerful. We're just going to show our viewers a graphic to give them a sense of what we're talking about here. As you know, Richard, about 12,000 members are part of the Writers Guild of America. And this strike was backed by 98% of them. And there you know, there are going to be rallies now held against companies like Amazon and, and, and Apple and others. Um, I, I'm curious, you know, what is it going to mean for people at home watching in terms of the shows they love uh, and, and whether this is now going to mean they won't be able to watch those shows? Well, some you will and some you won't. It depends on how long this strike goes on. So there was a deadline to hand in finished scripts. And that deadline uh, was Monday morning. And so a lot of people handed in scripts that they've been working on for some time. They're allowed to shoot those. The studios and Amazon, whoever it might be, are allowed to shoot those with no rewrites, but they're allowed to do it. Um, Now, if you have a script that isn't finished, well, that simply just isn't going to get shot. Uh, If you have a a series that is mid-production and there are no uh, scripts, for you know anything after episode five, well, we we're just going to have to wait for that. So uh, the summer, we're used to reruns. I think probably it'll be in September, October, November when we really start to notice that a lot of the shows that we love on network television uh, aren't coming back very quickly. I think you'll start to notice that on uh, you know your welcome board on Netflix and Amazon and all the big streamers have fewer and fewer new shows on them. Now, there should be a bit of a backlog that'll get us through the next little while of of new television. Uh, But as I say, come September, October, I think we're going to start to see that new productions become very few and far between. Good to see you, Richard. Thank you.